بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه إن شاء الله this morning we shall continue our guidance of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم from the book we are using مختصر زاد المعاد المكتوب الذي كتبه الشيخ محمد بن عبد الوهاب that the popular sheikh may Allah have mercy upon him wrote Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahhab so we stopped at uh, where the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and how he used to recite while he was praying particularly the fatiha and we discussed the different ways in which scholars say about the person praying behind the imam how he should recite fatiha as well inshallah today we will conclude that uh, chapter of uh, the recitation of fatiha by the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and we shall begin another phase of the uh, the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam of, of his guidance so after reciting fatiha the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam would uh, recite some other surah from the quran he would he would recite some other surah from the from the quran sometimes it would be some verses while sometimes it would be surah so وَكَانَ يُطِيلُهَا تَارَةً Sometimes he, he would make the... Okay. Okay. Sometimes he would make the surah he wanted to recite to be long, to be, to be long, while sometimes يُخَفِّفُهَا He would make it to be short. لِعَارِضٍ Because of a particular circumstance. Probably means suffering. Maybe they are on, they are not they are away from home. Or where he or some some circumstances other than that. Where it was so fiha even most times after reciting Fatiha, he would be just. He wouldn't recite a surah that is so long, and he would not recite a surah that is so so short. He would be at the middle. Even there was a there, there was this hadith reported. That uh, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam shortened one uh, a salat because a child was crying, and he realized he, he he had the sound of that child crying, so he had to reduce the longevity or the the, the stretch of that salat. So there are, there could be some circumstances regarding that, but most times the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Uh, used to make it be at the middle, not too short, not too long. And this is the guidance of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam regarding uh, recitation of Fatiha and some other uh, surah or verses of the Quran. Now we want to look at his guidance. Okay, we said he used to recite Fatiha, and he used to recite some other surah. What are these surah that he used to recite? So let's begin with Qira'at Salat al Fajr. In Salat al Fajr, Salat al Subh, what did the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam? What did he used to recite after reciting Fatiha? From the guidance of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, كان يقرأ في الفجر بنحو ستين آية إلى مئة. The Prophet sallallahu used to recite in Salat al Fajr. Something that is close to about 60 to 100 verses. 60 to 100 verses. وَصَلَّاهَا And he would pray Salat al-Fajr bi Surah Qaf. Surah Qaf. He would pray it sometimes with Surah Qaf. وَصَلَّاهَا bi Surah Rum. Sometimes he would pray with Surah Rum. وَصَلَّاهَا bi إِذَا الشَّمْسِ كُوِّرَةً 
So it's a shams kubirat. So sometimes you would pray it with uh, that uh, that surah. وصلها بسورة إذا زلزلت الأرض زلزالها. You would pray it with this surah as well. في الركعتين كلتيما. So in in the two rakah. في الركعتين كلتيما. Both of them. وصلها بالمع بالمعودتين. So sometimes you would pray it with uh, uh, كل ي... كل أعوذ برب الفلق كل أعوذ برب الناس. You can see how short those uh, those uh, surah how short they are, and you can see the difference between so uh, ma'udatain surah al surah al falak wa surah al nas from surah al qaf. So there there will be some circumstances that it would make him to, you know, reduce the length of the salah sometimes. Why it would elongate it sometimes, but most times it would be at the middle, not too short, not too long. وكان في السفر and when whenever he, he was on a trip maybe he traveled so uh, وصلها he used to recite uh, this uh, معوضتين سورة الفلك وسورة الناس فاستفتح, فاستفتح سورة المؤمنين so سورة المؤمنون the prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم he used to begin with سورة المؤمنون حتى إذا بلغ ذكر موسى وهارون في الركعة الأولى. أنت he would recite سورة المؤمنون until he got to the the higher the verse that Allah mentions موسى and هارون in سورة المؤمنون. so في الركعة الأولى in the first ركعة. so ها خذته سلع سلع فركع so he would recite it. Maybe the, 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 there's this uh, hadith that was reported from him, from him that when he recited Surah Al Surah Al Mu'minun, that he, he coughed. He had a cough. Then he stopped. Then he he, uh, he made recall. So, what can I say? He on the Jum'ah. That is his way on other days. Some other days of the week, like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Uh, Saturday and uh, and Sunday, but on Friday, <laughs> on a Friday, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to pray Salat al-Fajr, the Alif la Mim al-Sajda, Surah al-Sajda. He would he would uh, recite Surah al-Sajda. وَهَلْ أَتَى عَلَى الْإِنْسَانِ هَلْ أَتَى عَلَى الْإِنْسَانِ حِينٌ مِنَ الدَّهْرِ لَمْ يَكُنْ شَيْئًا مَذْكُورًا. He would recite this Surah as well. لما لما اشتملت عليه من ذكر المبدأ والمعاد because uh, what these two surah they they embed like what they what is uh, in this these two surah is uh, ذكر المبدأ والمعاد the Allah mentions المبدأ the starting how he created the uh, everything heavens and the earth والمعاد and Allah mentions how everything is going to as in the return of everything, what he has created in these two surah. وَخَلَقَ آدَمَ وَخَلْقَ آدَمَ وَخَلْقِ آدَمَ ذِكْرِ خَلْقِ آدَمَ And Allah mentions how he created Adam. وَقُولِ الْجَنَّةِ وَالنَّارِ Because it is stated in those two uh, surah, the admittance into al-jannah, wal-nar, and fire. وَذِكْرُ مَا كَانَ وَمَا يَكُونُ فِي يَوْمِ الْجُمْعَةِ and it is stated in those two surahs as well. Ma kana wa ma yakunu fi yom al Juma. What has happened on the day of Juma and what will happen on the day of Juma? Kama kana yakrau fi majami al Ezam. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam aside salat al Fajr in a big gathering, big gathering like kal aayad wal Juma, like uh, on the day of Eid, Eid al Adha wa Eid al Fitr. وكذلك يوم الجمعة. on يوم الجمعة, the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم used to recite قاف واقتربت الساعة وانشق القمر. he used to recite this uh, surah as well. وسبح والغاشية. the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم used to recite سبح on عيد. سبح اسم ربك الأعلى الذي خلق فسوى till the end. for, uh, for the first uh, First uh, rakah, you know, on Eid we we observe two rakah. The first rakah, you after reciting Fatiha, you would recite 
Surah Al-A'la. And the second raka, he would recite Surah Al-Ghashiyah. Al-Hataka Hadith Al-Ghashiyah. So, this is the guidance of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Now, we have to take note of this. Is it compulsory? We now, we must, is it compulsory that we must recite Surah Al-Qaf, Surah al and you, you don't, you've not memorized Surah Al-Qaf, Surah Al-Mu'minun. Well, must we? So, it is, it is good if we can memorize them and follow the dictate of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Because the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Salu kama ra'aytumuni usalli. Pray, just as you see me pray. But if you do not memorize, or you have not memorized, and you have memorized some verses, some chapters of the Quran, then pray with the one uh, you have memorized. Hmm? Which what is uh, easy. Even if it is only fi five chapters you know from the Quran. Maybe Surah al Surah al Ikhlas, Surah al Nas, Surah al Falak, Surah al Nasr, Surah al Kausar, all those small, small verses. And you don't know any other verses or uh, any other chapters from the Quran. Pray with those ones you know. So, Al Muhim, Al Muhim is you must recite Fatiha. So, if you recite Fatiha and you recite another verse, so. But if you have memorized the whole of the Quran and you leave Surah Al Fatiha, and you want to say because uh, you've memorized the Quran and you begin to recite Surah Al-Baqarah from, be from beginning to the end without Fatiha, then you have no Salah. La Salata liman lam yaqra bi Fatiha al-Kitab. No Salah for the one who does not recite Surah Al-Fatiha. So this is the guidance of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam on how he used to pray Salat Al-Fajr. So inshallah, uh, we, we, sh we will stop here today and inshallah we shall begin adiyuhu fil qiraati fi baqi salawat that is salat al fajr what is his guidance we, we, we talked about salat al fajr and we, we included salat al yaidain wa salat al juma right so in other salawat salat al zuhur salat al az uh, salat al maghrib wa salat al isha how did he used to pray so we shall continue from there tomorrow inshallah do we have any question now <laughs> 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 So he asks if it is uh, permissible for someone who has not memorized much of the verses or chapters of the Quran, if he, if he can be re read it from the phone or from, from the Quran while, while standing. Allahu Akbar, this, uh, this, this, this action is not recorded. From the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And I've not heard it that it happened during the time of the Sahaba. That we were reading from, from the Mus'haf or from any other any other uh, part or maybe on because then the way the Quran was is not the way we are reading it now. During the time of the Prophet, mm -hmm. Sallam, they were writing it on you know on uh, stones, on leaves. So, because they've not gathered everything together. So, it is not the guidance of the Prophet nor the Sahaba. Hmm? So, and uh, Ibn al-Qayyim rahmatullahi alayhi in, in his uh, Al-Kafiyatu Shafiyah, in one of the verses of his poem, he said, Al-ilmu qala Allahu qala rasooluhu qala sahabatuhum ulul ifad. The knowledge that we know is call Allah. Allah says, call a Rasul who is messenger says, call a Sahaba. The companions of the messenger say, so because they are the people of knowledge. Mm -hmm. So this guidance or this uh, issue, this matter, we have no record of it from the Prophet, the Sahaba, and uh, it is not stated in the Quran that if you want to pray, hold, uh, hold phone or hold Musaf. Now, what we know in the Sunnah is pray with what is convenient mm -hmm. for you. 
You know, I, 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 I said it, if it is only Surah al kawthar that you know, eh? repeat it in first verse, a first raka, repeat it in second raka. But be mindful and be watchful. Try as much as possible to know more. As you are doing that, try to study and memorize more verses so that you have space for, you know, reading some other verses or chapters of the Quran. But reading the must-have, uh, looking at the must-have uh, or, or phone while praying, it will lead to numerous things. One of them is, you know, on Salah, it is not permissible to be moving here and there. To, be, to, be, to involve oneself in ha some actions aside from praying and all that. So one of the things using the mushaf or the phone will lead to is it will lead you to be changing some directions. Maybe, you know, maybe when you are praying, of course, you want to, you want to check from the phone. You have to, you, there's no how you place your two hands here. You have to, there will be an adjustment. There will be an increase in some actions. You have to place it in a way you'll be able to see it. And after doing that, you, you return it back. You, and maybe you want to do uh, sujud. You have to place the phone on the ground again and do... So it will lead to some additional actions on the solar. Do, do, do we get that? Which is not actually permissible. Okay? So, uh, it is... Uh, Wallahu alam. What I will say, and majority of scholars, that, that this is their opinion as well. I think this same question was asked uh, from Sheikh Ufaymin, rahmatullahi alayhi, if I'm not mistaken. So, the, 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 the one that is better is read whatever you have memorized. Even most, of, most people usually ask this uh, during the time of Ramadan. Taraweeh. And that is when people usually want to be using the Quran because they want to finish the whole Quran in Ramadan. So, must we... So, it's not, it's not compulsory. It's not compulsory. So, if at all you want to finish the whole Quran, let the half is, let him lead instead of uh, everybody wants to know. So, I think this is what I can say about this. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allahumma rahmataka arju, fala takilni ila nafsi tarfata'in, wa aslih li sha'ni kullah, la ilaha illa ant.